Okay, so how do I put this architecture together? How does it look like well, from the high level design perspective? So when we talk to our customer, this is the approach we follow. So first of all, you need to think from the architecture point of view. So you can see I have access, transit and app layer here. And then this access layer is providing connectivity back to on-prem with the, with the encryption and the visibility that you need. And then in the transit layer, I will deploy Aviatrix transit gateway in the high available fashion. And then this will become my hub and then I will attach spokes to it, right? So this is how I would start. For, for my customer. Uh, this will create a unified control plane with the distributed data plane, with all the, the automation, with all the visibility that you need, and this will become my repeatable design. So I'll just design it once, and then I copy, paste, and repeat, or rinse and repeat, right? So if I have another business unit coming on board, not a problem. I will just deploy it for them. Then the second one, in another region, Okay, no problem. I will deploy it for my customers or my clients. And that will give you this holistic picture where you're getting all the benefits of this platform. So you're getting the architecture, you're getting the cloud networking, you're getting all the BGP advanced knobs for proper traffic engineering. Your overlapping, overlapping IP issues are resolved. You're providing the, the security that your customers or your clients are demanding. You're providing the segmentation. So for example, you have this green VPC here. The second one is there. Yeah, they can talk to each other, but the blue might not want to talk because this is prod, this could be dev. Depending on the, the policy or the profile you define, we can achieve your desired outcome. And then the cloud access I talked about, doesn't really matter if you have contractors, partners, employees, if you have SD-WAN, legacy branches, they can all connect to this cloud network with this architecture approach. And the Terraform, I talked about the controller gives you the visibility, the automation. If you need something more advanced, then uh, you go with the co-pilot and I'll show you a demo of how it looks like. So that's all given as part of this architecture. But not only that, like I said in the beginning, the cloud native services, for example, in GCP, they have the concept of shared VPC, the global VPC, the serverless with cloud functions, GKE, Anthos, the list is very long. We do understand all those constructs and we provide you a solution with our cloud networking approach. Okay, and this is, this is the power of the architecture I was talking about. So in this slide, you notice I have GCP. In the next slide, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just change this logo and everything will remain the same. And that's the power I was talking about. So now in the multi-cloud scenario, if you're extending from GCP to AWS, you don't have to do any guesswork. Everything is already there for you. So now you get all the features, right? With, but with multiple clouds in place. So you have the PGP coming in, you have multiple ways to reach to the other side. If one way goes down, then you have another way to reach to the other side on all the other features that I listed here and talked about. And obviously this list is just a subset of what we, what we provide. If you want to know more details about what we can do with GCP or in a multiple cloud scenario, please talk to us or search us on our, on our website. Thank you.